if your Apple Macintosh computer starts to misbehave, built into macOS are a number of useful troubleshooting tools. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can place a computer that is running on Apple Silicon hardware into something called recovery mode. As the name suggests, recovery mode will give us access to a number of very powerful tools that can help us to repair or reinstall macOS. However, as it's also very easy to wipe or factory reset a computer while in recovery mode, before we get started, we recommend that you have a full backup of your computer using Time Machine or you've made copies of any files that are important to you. In order to place our computer into recovery mode, we first need to power down our computer. Now with our computer shut down, if we press and hold down the power button for roughly 20 seconds, or until our display shows us a message saying loading startup options, eventually we will be presented with the startup options screen. Within startup options, we have two icons, Macintosh HD and options. If we now use our mouse pointer to select options, a continue button will appear. When we select continue, our computer will reboot and we will be presented with the macOS recovery screen. Recovery mode consists of four main options. The first option, restore from time machine, offers us a way to return our computer to a previous state. However, if we've not previously created a time machine backup, for obvious reasons, this option will not work. There may be certain circumstances where you need to reinstall macOS while keeping your files and settings intact. While the reinstall macOS option will do this, your computer will need to have an internet connection and once again, we strongly recommend that before you try and reinstall macOS, you have a backup of any files that are important to you. Next, we have Safari, which, as long as your computer is connected to the internet, is a way that you can search for information or access the Apple support website. Finally, we have Disk Utility, which serves two purposes. The first of which will allow us to try and repair errors relating to the formatting and directory structure of our computer's hard drive. The second purpose of disk utility is to allow us to erase a hard drive which can be very useful if we're trying to do a clean install of macOS or if we're looking to decommission our computer. In order to use any of these four applications, we simply need to select an option with our mouse pointer and then choose continue. However, as we currently do not need to use any of the features in recovery mode, if we select the Apple icon and then from the drop down menu choose restart, our computer will reboot and we will once again be presented with the macOS login screen.